Welcome. In this presentation, we will examine a few of our standard communication mediums in residential property management and how to select the appropriate one for any given scenario. Before diving into how we communicate, it is important to understand what communication is and the elements it is composed of. Simply, communication is the use of word, sounds, behaviors, or signs to express or exchange ideas, thoughts, or feelings between multiple parties. It's important to remember there has to be a giver and a receiver for communication to occur. So how do we communicate in property management? Calls, texts, emails, chat messages, in person, video chat, and written letters are some of the most common ways. However, that is not an exhaustive list. When thinking about those mediums, there is a definite hierarchy that exists on how much impact each carries. For example, written letters are easily ignored and even disposed. These all really only exist in property management due to certain legal requirements. Letters are truly a low impact, low power form of communication. Now think about in-person, face-to-face -face communication. Words, behaviors, signs, body language, tone are all now present. The exchange is instantaneous. It's difficult to ignore. That is an impactful, powerful method of communication. Now that we have looked at some of the ways we communicate, let's think about how we choose the most appropriate. One of my favorite things to use is this urgent important matrix. In certain instances, it will help determine what medium you should choose. Think for a moment how this can assist you in selecting the appropriate communication. Let's put all of this into a real life story, which many of you may be familiar with. One of the world's largest tech companies had some very public layoffs a little while back. To notify the infected employees, an early morning email was sent and key cards deactivated. Problem was, Many employees don't check email at 7 a.m. before heading to the office, so they had no idea that they were terminated until they arrived. Think back to our power of the medium graph, and we know email is a fairly low impact communication. Certainly not the right choice to let people know they are being laid off effective immediately. Take just a few moments and think on how you communicate. Are you choosing the most appropriate medium? To close out, we will run through a few scenarios. You'll have just a few moments to think about which medium might be the most appropriate. Let's jump right in. Scenario number one, your applicant was approved for their apartment. This information is best communicated via a phone call. You want to be able to portray your excitement to your applicant for their approval. All right. Let's look at number two. Burglar, burglary or car break-ins took place overnight, and you want to send an update to your regional manager. This scenario is a little more dependent on a few variables, such as the severity or just the preference of your regional manager. In most instances, notification via text, chat, or email would be acceptable. All right, let's take a look at our last scenario. You have to have a termination conversation with an employee. In person, face to face, is truly the only appropriate way to have this communication. Great job. You all are on the way to being effective communicators. So what's next? There will be a little quiz to complete in the module. It will look at more scenarios like these we just looked at and you will select the most appropriate and state why you made that selection. Don't worry about being 100% correct. We are all just trying to become better and more effective communicators.